hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is also 30 seconds. And background color is white. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title section. Then press Ctrl Y on your keyboard to create a solid background. I'll call it a red solid, not one. And color I'm going to choose red and simply hit OK and then simply lock this layer. Now go to the shape tools and select your ellipse tool and for the color I am going to choose white color and simply hit OK and by holding shift I am going to create one ellipse like this. Select this ellipse, press ctrl alt home, go to the align tab, align it horizontally, align it vertically, press P for position, create one keyframe and let's bring this downwards like this. Zoom in a little bit, go to around 10 frames and let's move this over here like this. Then go to 20 frames and let's bring this downwards, press V like this. So if you see this animation, we'll get something like this. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, zoom in a little bit. Select this graph by holding shift, we'll move this handle over here and this handle over here like this and like this. So if you see, we'll get this kind of animation. Now after that we will select this shape layer, we will press Ctrl Shift D to split this layer, hit U and let's delete all the keyframes that we had for this one and now with the help of this one let's change the color of this one. Now press S for scaling option and unlink this, create one keyframe over here and go to around let's say 1.20 frames. Let's increase the size of this like this and like this. So if you see, we'll get something like this. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor. Let's link this chain again. Now select this graph by holding shift. I'll move this one over here, select this and move this handle over here. So if you see this animation from the start, we will get something like this. And if you want, you can go over here. Let's unlink this again and you can increase the scale of this ellipse like this also. Okay, so if you see this animation now, we will get something like this. Let's move this keyframe a little bit over here. Now, we will create another ellipse. Now, let's select this ellipse by holding shift. Let's create one ellipse and for the color, choose red color. Simply hit OK and choose Ctrl Alt Home. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally, align it vertically. And let's move this over here. Press P for position, create one keyframe. Then press S for scaling option, create one keyframe and hit U. Unlink this scaling option like this. Now I want from this point this should comes downwards. So let's select this and move this over here. And let's increase the scale like this and the scale like this and let's move this initially over here and create one keyframe at position and scale and go somewhere around over here let's make this scale 100 and this scale also 100 and we will bring this in the middle with the help of this align vertically like this so if you see this animation we will get something like this and select this scaling keyframe and we will bring this a little bit over here like select those scaling keyframe and hit f9 now select those position keyframes and hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, let's move the sandal over here, select this and let's move the sandal over here. So if you see this, we'll get something like this. Let's move this keyframe a little bit over here. Now we will move this a little bit over here, so it will come a little bit early and if you want initially let's move this a little bit downwards like this 
a little bit more okay so now if you see we will get something like this now at this point i want my logo shift and start to animate so i select my logo and i'll move my logo over here let's press s for scaling option and scale it like this now to animate this logo we are going to use animation composer so go to the windows and choose animation composer animation composer is a free plugin i'll provide the link in the description so you can do check it out now and install it then go to the transition presets we'll go to the 2d layer transition and we'll go to the scale let's go inside it and we will choose overshoot scale and we will simply apply as in so now it will automatically apply this animation to our logo like this so now if you see we get something like this so now let's move this a little bit over here so we'll get this kind of animation now we will add some extra elements so select this ellipse i don't want any fill now so let's delete this fill i want stroke so choose stroke and by holding shift create one ellipse and stroke width let's choose 10 press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically from this point i want this to animate so i'll move this over here press s let's make this zero create one keyframe and go to the shape options uh, go to the contents ellipse one and go to the stroke one and create one keyframe at the stroke width hit u initially stroke width should be 100 and go somewhere around over here and let's make this stroke width zero and we will increase the size of it now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here like this so we will get this kind of ripple effect in this thing and hit n so now if you see we will get this kind of simple but cool looking logo reveal animation now select all the layers and click on this motion blur icon so we will get animation with a little bit of our motion blur like this and if you want you can select this shape layer you can hit ctrl d and you can move this a little bit forward so you will get two ripple effects like this you can select this one you can hit u let's go over here and you can increase the scale of this one also like this you can select this one hit u and let's increase the duration of this ripple effect okay so this is how you can create simple logo reveal animation in adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned